Hey guys, before we go any further with this, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I was reading online and a lot of people uh, replaced the VCT solenoid part and they still have the, the same problem. It, it didn't fix anything for them, but uh, it did fix the problem for me. So uh, what I want to tell you guys is, is that, uh, I mean, you can try spending a hundred dollars and do the job yourself and it may fix your problem. But like I said, a lot of people tried and it didn't, it didn't work for them, so. Symptoms I'm getting is the flashing check engine light on. And uh, the car doesn't have any power, even though I'm accelerating. I'm going 40 miles an hour and it's just struggling to go higher or to go faster. can feel a misfire too. And once you do a complete stop and then you try to, to hit the throttle. Wait. Okay, I'm in a complete stop. Now I try to go. It just looks super weak. I'm I'm it's I'm flooring it right now. And it's not even going fast, but now it's taking more speed. All right, guys, so this is the old VCT solenoid. This is the one I'm going to replace, and this is the new one. Okay. And this is the new seal I have to put on. And this is how it looks. Now what I did, I had to do something like this so I can take the this screw out, this one right here. Now I, uh, I have a normal screwdriver, but I had to add some tape on it so I can add this so it won't fall. And I can, I can go all the way inside here without dropping this. If you drop this or if you drop anything inside here, that's it, you're done. <laughs> that's it, you're just gonna have to open the whole engine and try to take this part out. So this is really, really hard, guys. Do not do not drop anything inside there or else you're screwed. <laughs> so that's why I put tape just to play it safe. And as you can see, this won't fall. So, all right, guys, I'm going to put the solenoid inside. I didn't have nobody to, to record while I was removing the seal. But pretty much what you have to do is using a flathead uh, screwdriver, you can try to take it out. And uh, I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a pain to take it out. It took me like a good 10, 15 minutes to take it out. Uh, what I use is a, a flathead screwdriver and some pliers. And uh, I know if you if you if you try and try to get it out, it you eventually will get it out. But yeah, I mean it took me a while. All right, here we go. Uh. Oh, another thing, um, this piece right here. Even if you want to take it off, you can't because it's stuck in there pretty pretty good. So don't worry about this part falling off because it's, it's not going to fall off. I'm gonna put some light there so maybe you guys can see better. Tight. So 
that's it for the cylinder. It's already in there pretty tight. Now it's time to put the, the seal, which is this guy right here. Uh, I paid uh, $67 for the solenoid at Ford dealer. I uh, suggest you buy it at the dealer. Don't buy it on eBay or other website. Uh, if you buy the Ford one, the original Ford part, it's it's better. And this is also, I paid uh, $11 for the seal. So, okay, let's try to put it. I'm gonna try to use a hammer and something with like a flat surface so I won't damage the seal. Okay, yeah, it's going inside. Okay, yeah, it's there pretty good already. Uh, now, just connect the cable. And, and that's it, let's take it for a test drive. So guys, I'm happy to inform that I replaced the uh, VCT solenoid and now my expedition is driving good. As you can see, I'm hitting the, the throttle and it, it has power. The check-in light is off. I'm just happy that I fixed this problem for less than $100. Uh, like I said, I paid uh, like 65 around there for the solenoid and another $11 for the seal. And I mean, like I said, I'm happy to inform that it, my exposition is running back to normal. Uh, it has power, it drives good. Let me show you. Hold on. See, it drives, it drives really good. So guys, if, if this video uh, helped you in any way, uh, please like, uh, comment, subscribe and uh, share this video and I really hope this video helped you and it fixed your problem. Thank you so much and like always, peace.